so hey guys welcome back once again and in today's video i'm just gonna discuss about token merging for stable diffusion basically token merging will help you speed up diffusion by merging redundance token now you can generate image faster with using token merging and yes there are a lot of detailed things going on but in this video i'm just gonna talk about how you can install it and how you can run it on automatic 1111 so let's get started but before beginning this video let me thank one of my friend paulo who has help me in installing this extension he has been actively supporting on my discord server as well by providing amazing confi ui workflows as well so if you are working on confi ui then yes definitely you can join my discord server and yes you can enjoy the confi ui workflows as well there are so many workflows going on so that's the first thing that i wanted to talk about and now let's get started with the installation process so in order to install token merger the first thing that you need to do is that go on to your stable diffusion directory i am already on a stable diffusion directory you can see in stable diffusion directory go on to your venv folder just like this click on to venv folder and in venv folder you can see script written over here so this is the first method that i am showing you in that script just hold on to your shift button just hold shift button and right click on to the script you will see open powershell window over here okay click on to this and this window will open command window and in this you need to type dot backward slash activate that's the only thing that you you need to type this will activate the venv virtual environment on stable diffusion after you press enter this was the error that i faced so if you are facing this error as well don't worry just close on to it come on to the script if you are facing that problem so if you are if you are not facing that problem then you can continue it i will show you the similar thing so you can see i am already on the script folder click on to this and type cmd so after typing cmd see it will load it over here the command window will Will come over here and the next thing that you need to do once again over here type dot backward slash activate so that's the thing that you need to type and enter so it will activate the virtual environment on stable diffusion and now the next thing that you need to do is that you need to install token merger right so as you can see over here it's already written over here the link will be already in the description this so in order to install you first need to clone this repository right the first thing that you need to do is copy this and let me show you first of all just type cd over here cd space dot dot okay once again type cd space dot dot so we are now on the stable diffusion directory you can see we are back onto our stable diffusion directory dai stable diffusion so again you can see dai stable diffusion okay so this is the directory that we are going to and in this directory what we will do is that we will try to paste this git clone so this is the line that we are pasting the link will be already in the description just go on to that link and you will find this just copy this line and come over here and paste it over here so that's the only thing that you need to do and press enter so mines already installed you can see destination part 2 to me sd already exists so mines already installed so the next step that you need to do is that come on over here you need to type cd t o m e s d or just copy it okay so we will copy it and just paste it over here so we will paste it and you can see we are now on the dai to me sd directory just this directory we are on to this directory okay so here we are once again and the next thing that you need to do in this directory is that let me show you the next thing that you need to do is python setup.py build develop so that's the next thing that you need to do and come on over here copy it and paste it over here so after pasting it over here just press enter and it will in install the python setup by as well so that's the only thing that you need to do and the last thing and the final step that you need to do is that come back on your stable diffusion directory and just run your automatic 1111 using web ui user dot back so guys after launching your automatic 1111 this is the final step that you need to do go on to your extensions menu and on extension menu go on to install from url after coming on to install from url i will paste this link over here copy this link i will paste this link in the description or the comment section below you can check it as well so that's the thing that you need to copy and then come on to your stable diffusion okay after pasting it over here just click on to install so after clicking on to install it will automatically install your token merge extension so the next thing that you need to do is come over here and just apply and restart ui so mines is already installed and you can definitely see over here go on to your setting you can definitely see over here token merging is already installed on my automatic 1111 so that's how you can 
can install token merging extension and yes you can see over here in order to enable this you just need to click on over here enable mines is disabled over here and this ratio token merging ratio it is said that 0.6 is working very great and generating fast images so just change on to 0.6 so for now just set on to 0.6 and just apply the settings and reload the ui and basically it's now ready to run you can see over here let me show you on the command section applying to me patch and to me patch is applied so basically it's applied and it is ready to run and now let's see what result do we get with token merging extension so guys here we are ready with our prompt as you can see i am ready with my prompt and this time i am using our mada merge model this is stable diffusion 2.1 based model that i am using and you can see sampling method tpm plus plus sde caras 25 sampling steps and with high res fix as well latent upscaler with two multiplier and yes so that's the only thing that i am using and first what i will do i will go without token merge here i am with token merging you can definitely see it is turned off right now and yes we will go without token merge first of all and let's see what result do we get now so before beginning the result i will turn off this as well obs and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see that is the result that i got and this is without token merging and if i show you this is over here you can definitely see and yes you can see around it took me like less than one minute in order to generate total of this image with high res fix so that is the result that i got without token merging and now what we will do is that let's go on to settings menu and let's we are already on token merging you can see we will enable this token merging and we are going with 0.6 token merging ratio so that's the only thing that we are doing and we will apply this setting and after applying this setting let's reload the ui once again so you can see over here we have reloaded the ui once again and what i will do i will go on to image browser and i will go on to the first page and this was the result that we got right without token merging what i will do i will just send on to text to image and yeah the all of this setting is already loaded over here armada merge high res fix sde caress 25 steps 30 high res steps multiply by two upscale so everything is loaded over here seed is also loaded over here and now once again what we will we will try to generate with token margin once again you can see over here let me show you see this over here applying to me patch token merging patch and yes token merging is applied right now and let's see if does really it makes a difference so we will check and let's see what result do we get now so first of all i will turn off this obs as well turn off this obs as well and let's see so now guys as you can see these are the result that i got you can definitely see this is the result that i got and this was the seed the exact seed that we use without token merging extension so this is the result that i got and if i show you the result over here you can definitely see over over here for generating the final image it took me around like less than 45 second with token merging extension and yes you can see the earlier result over here it took me like less than one minute in order to generate this image so yes there is a noticeable difference over here and yes let me know in the comment section below guys what do you think about this i used high res upscale as well okay high res face and yeah that was the thing that we were doing and yes definitely there is a difference as you can see over here on 30 by 30 steps as well it took like for uh, less than 49 seconds and here over here 30 by second 30 by 30 you can see it took me like less than 34 seconds so yes guys definitely there is a difference in the speed i can definitely say that and if i and what if we compare the result okay let's compare the result and let's see what result do we got did we get any difference let's see so guys as you can see these are the result that i got these are the side by side comparison and on the left hand side definitely this result is is without token merging extension and on right hand side this result is with token merging extension and yes the left hand side took more than 45 seconds and this took around less than 45 seconds so you can definitely see there is a lot of difference going on but the results still are amazing on this as well i can definitely say this result is pretty interesting as well not that bad and not that great as well but yes there are some details missing over here what do you guys think about this look at the floor over here the sand floor over here and look at this it's totally plain so basically there are details missing but yes if i don't compare it with the original result then definitely i can say this result is great as well so that's the thing that i wanted to talk about and yes that's the result that i got you can compare and let me know in the comment section below i will definitely make a detailed comparison about this uh in the later video but these are the result that i got let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this are you willing to sacrifice some 
of the details uh, for the speed or you are willing to generate amazing detail with the speed let me know guys and yeah and yes guys i will definitely make a detailed video about this later on so have a patient and let me know in the comment section below once again guys so that's it how you can go and install token merging extension and thanks one again for paulo in order for helping me in order to install this extension so that's how you can go and install this extension and have fun with the results guys so there is definitely a difference with the speed and yes definitely amazing so that's the thing that i wanted to talk about token merging and yes guys that's it for today and i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys